So Tony, we know that storytelling is very important for job seekers, even students, and they can use that storytelling technique in cover letters, LinkedIn, about section, in their resume, and they can showcase their skills and achievement. But still, for some people, it's difficult to tell that part. How, what, what stories I'm going to tell? Where can I start? And then as a, as a, as a manager as a, as a, of a career center, what tips do you have for employ, uh, job seekers to get acquaintance in you telling their stories? Yeah, yeah, it, it's a good question. So in general, and again, maybe it's because of the nature of the work we're in, I do love the concept of story. Right. right. Like, you know, and thinking of our life in many ways as, as a story, as you know, one big story made up of a whole bunch of chapters mm -hmm. and, and stories within. Um, and, and I think within our work, as you'd mentioned, story, the principles of story work better in things like cover letters and, linked, and LinkedIn profiles. And, and sometimes how I like to describe it is that we all do stuff. Yes. Right? You know, all of us do things. All of us have had experience where we do this or we do that. But painting a picture of those experience, uh, you know, thinking about your reader and how do I actually bring this to life? Because any of us can list yes. a bunch of things, a bunch of tasks, and it doesn't really mean anything. But, you know, how do we bring that to life uh, and helping it make it be more real um, for the person reading it? Yeah. Um, one of the examples I would use uh, or comes to mind is I used to do, you know, I used to do sessions for uh, students who were um, in teacher training programs mm -hmm. and they were and completing applications for their first teaching jobs. And all of them, you know, because they were all in cohort groups. Yes. That many of them had the exact same educational experiences. Mm -hmm. You know, they had very similar other experiences as well because they all had practicums. Uh, and so when you were in a group, it was really hard to differentiate uh, one from the other. So one of the things we really work on is really finding things that, first of all, that they were they thought was the coolest thing. What did they did that was a unique, cool, that was up to them? Mm -hmm. And then describe it in ways so that if I'm a principal or if I'm an administrator, I can imagine you in that classroom now doing this with your students, as opposed to just listing, I did this, 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 this. And again, it, it was just... And it just changes an application uh, quite dramatically, and uh, and and the reaction, mm -hmm. now, I, particularly myself as someone who is who's been a manager administrator for years, who's read applications, yeah. you know, it's that coming to life and me being able to have a visual when I read this that I can actually see you with students or see you with other people, mm -hmm. that that actually is one of the things that helps raise you to the top. Yeah. And I feel that storytelling techniques can be learned. It takes time to yeah. practice and. I've, I'm, of course, when I was starting at 10 years ago, it's different stories that I have now than I was 10 years ago. And again, practicing in front of, you know, on Zoom or other and asking feedback from others, even career advisors, that will be essential, I believe. Yeah, yeah. But with, with any of these things, any skill by definition is learnable, right? Yeah. Some people are going to be more natural. Um, some people are going to be perhaps more engaging. But again, the goal is not necessarily to be perfect or yeah. the goal is not to sound like that person, yeah. right? The goal is to be the most authentic and mm -hmm. best version of yourself, right? Like I have a certain way of communicating, both you and I have certain ways and that, you know, that works for us. Yeah. Uh, other people have other techniques that work for them. And I think that's the thing to remember with any of these skills, particularly in communication. Sometimes people say, oh, that person is so good or they appreciate that I can never do that. Yeah. And the thing to remember, that is not the goal. The goal is, is to be, you know, how do you share stories authentically for them? Yeah. Because that is one of the big thing is in any of the, when we're doing storytelling from the audience perspective, we want to get a sense that this is authentic, that yeah. you're presenting something that's real and personal mm -hmm. yeah. and not just putting on a show. Yeah. Those are great tips, Tony. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience, if you have any more tips, leave them below or reshare this video and tune in next time for another great question with Tony. Mm -hmm.